Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. We'll be right back to the show. But before we do, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor Mills. Dot com, where if you go to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50, you can get 50% off your first order. That's factormills.com slash unbroken50. If you're like me and you are a person who is busy trying to create a life, heal, work on their health, wealth, and relationships, and not to mention deal with the day-to-days of normal life, you do not have time to be going to the grocery store and trying to figure out what you're going to cook every single day of the week. In fact, one time I did the math and I realized I was spending over 15 hours a week at the grocery store and cooking. When I added factor, I got to use that time for myself, for my family, for my friends, for my community, and for my business. And so if you're in the place where you need some more support in the kitchen, head to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50 to get 50% off. Do you ever feel like life is a never-ending series of lessons while you try to find purpose, meaning, and answers? I am Vanessa Fontana, the host of Figuring Shit Out, a podcast where we undertake self-help, coming of age, and healing. As I live my 20s in New York City figuring shit out myself, I've realized that if you spend your whole life trying to get your act together, you don't have a life. You have an act. On Figuring Shit Out, every Sunday you get to normalize the journey of not knowing and be guided into living your life with more intention and ease. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. What's up, Unbroken Nation? Hello, my friends. I'm Michael Unbroken, host of the Think Unbroken podcast and founder of thinkunbroken.com. And I'm honored to be your trauma coach and mentor because I believe that everyone is capable of getting unstuck, cultivating self-love, and becoming the hero of their own story. I believe that when implemented correctly, the practical tools and education you will receive from this show will help you lead an unbroken and extraordinary life. I believe that no matter what we come from, that we all have the ability to choose ourselves first, to create and manifest a powerful and grace-filled future, and love the reflection in the mirror. I believe that every day is a day to grow, learn, heal, and change. That's why I started my company, thinkunbroken.com. 
which is an online training and healing and personal growth platform where you get everything that I know about how to get motivated, be accountable, get out of the vortex, and become the hero of your own story through community, connection, and commitment. For more information, visit thinkunbroken.com. Please listen closely as you may learn just one thing that will help you be unbroken. And please share this episode with at least three of your friends because we all need community and connection in our healing journey. And be sure to DM me and tag me on Instagram at Michael Unbroken so that I can say hi. I just want to thank you again for being a part of this, for listening and being a member of the Unbroken Nation. Now, let's get into today's show and make the world unbroken. Freedom. You are imperfect. You are wired for struggle, but you are worthy of love and belonging. Brene Brown. Freedom is about letting go and being open to possibility. Of what? You have to figure that out. What is truly holding you back from becoming the person that you want to be? Is it being too afraid to look in the mirror? Is it a job that you hate or a spouse that doesn't support the journey you are heading on? Or are you too scared to be who you are? If you take a moment and search deep within, you will discover that you know what it is that you need to do. Your GPS is always pointing in the right direction. You just need to shut the hell up and listen. Then you need to act. We tend to find comfort in the familiar, even when that familiar is volatile or harmful to us. Have you ever been in a violent relationship or emotionally abusive friendship that felt similar to your childhood experiences? Did you stay involved in those relationships because it felt like you had to? There is a reason that we are drawn to the kind of human beings and scenarios that hurt us. It's our foundation. Familiarity in these scenarios is due to the comfort that comes along with our abuse. This is not that different from Stockholm Syndrome, in which people fall in love with their kidnappers or send money and love letters to their abusers who are in prison. Giving yourself the freedom to be uncomfortable is the sister of self-love. Letting go of your expectations of being uncomfortable may mean removing yourself from a certain situation or moving into one that you have been scared of approaching. Freedom is on the other side of discomfort, and freedom is only possible by opening up to new possibilities. Freedom is only available in the present moment. Being present and not looking towards what is coming around the bend, or what happened yesterday or 10 years ago, takes practice. Becoming present can happen in a multitude of ways, including practicing yoga, breathing, limiting screen time, journaling, meditation, or taking a walk. These are some activities that may help you access being present. Whenever you find yourself consumed with thoughts or voices outside of the present moment, you are in the vortex. Whenever you find yourself in the present moment and not consumed by a myriad of dark thoughts and ideas, you are free of the vortex. It's not that you should steer away from thoughts outside of this moment, but instead, you should acknowledge them and come back to being present. Being in the vortex will trap you and keep you from truly experiencing freedom. Here is a list of thoughts that will occur when the vortex wants to take your freedom. People will think I'm crazy if I see a therapist, so why bother? I may as well have another slice of cake. I can start that diet tomorrow. It's my partner's fault that I am overweight. My abuse isn't affecting my life. Everyone parties like that. I like to smoke. It helps calm my nerves. I'm alone and no one likes me, so why should I go to that dinner party? And who gives a fuck if I kill myself? No one will miss me. Can you see what happens when you are limited by the thoughts of your past? The vortex wants you to justify your poor decisions and actions because when you do, you stay in the darkness. The vortex feeds on self-sabotage and loathing. Isn't it funny how the vortex can also look and feel just like shame? Here is a list of thoughts that will occur when you are open to the possibility of freedom from the vortex. Seeing a therapist will lead me to a better understanding of myself. I won't eat this cake until I earn it. I will earn it through hard work at the gym, and it will be a reward for holding myself accountable. I owe it to myself to get healthy and in shape. I want a future without pain and suffering, 
and I deserve to have that experience. If I work on understanding my abuse, I may not use partying as an escape from the pain, but instead I'll find more constructive ways to cope. I will quit smoking because I know it's a form of self-harm, and I deserve to love myself entirely without hurting myself. I will go to the dinner party because the people there are my friends. I should be able to enjoy my life with people who value me and want me around. My life is worth living because I bring value to the world, and the people closest to me love me, and I love them, and I love myself. The best advice that I can give you about tapping into freedom is to admit that you need to own the shit that is keeping you stuck. You know that smoking is bad for you, eating cake every day is unhealthy, being with a partner that screams at you is unsafe, working at a job that makes you cry is not worth it, and drinking so you sleep at night is an escape. Through ownership and the discipline to stay the course, freedom will become evident. Becoming Unbroken, Unlocking Freedom from the Vortex By simply being open to possibility, we can tap into positivity. If the vortex is negativity, then freedom is everything else. In this exercise, write the thoughts and actions that are keeping you in the vortex, and then write what giving yourself freedom from the vortex would look like. I love this exercise so much because in it, we start to create this understanding of what we're truly responsible for. And I recognize that some of this is wrapping our head around the narrative that we have. And, and I've talked about it before, but to really put yourself in a position to be successful, you have to not only change the self-narrative that you have, but you also have to create action around change. And so when you think about ownership, it's about accountability. It's about showing up for yourself. It's about doing the work to get to the place that you want to be because you know that it's not going to happen overnight and no one's coming to save you. But the thing about the vortex is when you are in it, it's so hard to see the other side because all you know and all you have experienced until this moment is feeling like the world is against you. That is not true. And think about this. Just the fact that you're listening to this book right now is a huge step forward. There's always going to be something in your way. We've talked about boundaries and roadblocks, but do they have to be self-imposed? Can you put yourself in a position to be successful by acknowledging that you have to step through what this is? No one else can do that for you. And in acknowledgement comes freedom because you get to look at this entire experience from understanding that now you have a choice to make. And it is within those thoughts and those actions that you will step through the vortex and into freedom. Hey, Unbroken Nation, a quick pause in today's episode to tell you about the brand new Think Unbroken app. That's right. I just released a brand new app in the App Store that you can take the first course in the Think Unbroken curriculum, the five keys to healing trauma. It's a seven day course for free. All you have to do is go into your app store right now. You can pause this video and search Think Unbroken. That's on both Apple and Android. And you can take the Think Unbroken Five Keys to Healing Trauma seven-day course for free. This is daily coaching from me. It's daily activities, daily check-ins. I built this course in this app specifically to bring huge value to you in your life, where you're at and what you're trying to do and going next and becoming the hero of your own story. So check out the app store again, Apple and Android. Just simply search Think Unbroken and you will see the Think Unbroken app. And until next time, my friend, be unbroken. Unbroken Nation, hope that you just got a tremendous amount of value from today's episode. I want to know what you think. Please do me a favor and review, rate, and share the episode with three friends on social media today. It would mean the world if you did, because ultimately at the end of the day, creating community and connection is how we heal generational trauma in the world. And I need your help to do that Unbroken Nation. So if you're on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you are, please like, comment, share, review. I want to know not only what you like about the show, but how I can make the show better, how I can make this further about helping you on your healing journey. So do me a favor. And when you do shoot me a screenshot of you making the review to my DM at Michael Unbroken on Instagram so that I can have a conversation with you, say hi, and more importantly, so I can share it with the Unbroken Nation. Thank you so much, my friend. 
Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program.